Frank a perfect Perf- guest for this show. Frank made more than $100 million while playing in Major League Baseball. And now we have this major dispute between the owners suggesting a 50-50 split of revenue if they play an 82-game schedule with no fans. All right, yesterday we heard from Blake Snell saying, no way in hell he's accepting that. He wants all of his money. Well, now he's being backed by a couple of the biggest stars in all of professional baseball. Nolan Arenado has spoken out. He signed a $260 million contract. He's backing up Blake Bell. And Bryce Harper, who signed a $330 million contract, is backing up Blake Bell as well, Blake Snell as well. Bryce Harper saying he ain't lying. He's right. He's speaking the truth, bro. I ain't mad at him. Somebody's got to say it. At least he manned up and said it. Good for him. I love Snell. The guy's a beast. One of the best lefties in the game. All right, Frank, are MLB (laughs) players making a mistake being this vocal right now on this uh, financial agreement between them and the owners? I'm not going to say it's an all-out mistake. I'm just going to say this is a delicate time right now to be discussing money in the public when you got billionaires and millionaires fighting over who's going to, you know, get the biggest pie of all of this. I I think at this particular time, uh, take pride in being the first major sport back on TV because I think there's a huge upside for the owners uh, to, to get that TV revenue nationally and locally because people are just right out tired right now being at home with no pro sports on national TV. So uh, as for the players, I'll look back to 94. I think we were a little too vocal uh, about the strike, and it definitely hurt us because it took baseball a few years to come back after that. Uh, they just need to be a little more careful uh, with their words because you guys know and I know in the media we're looking for the biggest gun to make the biggest mistakes so we can plaster of all the news. And that's what's happening right now with the top players. I will agree with you here. It's not the most tasteful conversation we could be having right now in this pandemic. But uh, because they're going to be the first major sport back, it looks like, then you got to be the windshield, as they say. That means you got to take all the bugs, all the hits. Everything's going to hit you first. And that's why we're having it. Uh, But that said, we want baseball back. We need baseball back. However, a good faith negotiation is necessary to facilitate that. And that's not what the owners are giving the players. I remind everyone, they negotiated prorated salaries during this pandemic. But now we're going to double the negotiation and negotiate on the negotiation because of a lack of foresight or covering themselves as ownership group. Whatever you want to think, whatever side you want to go on, I'm with the players, not because I'm a former player, because they actually have merit in what they're saying. You want a 50-50 split of revenue? Fine. Please tell us what the revenue is in totality. Once baseball comes with that answer, then they can talk about a 50-50 split. Until then, they're asking the players to take more risks for less money and go out there, set a new norm, basically a new salary cap in baseball that has never occurred, and then ask the players to go out there and say everything is status quo. Sorry, can't go for that ownership. I do do want to clarify one thing. NASCAR's back this weekend on Fox. Major League Baseball has a chance to be the first major (laughs) team sport league to come back, which I think could be really important for Major League Baseball. And, I, and this is why I agree with you, Frank. They really need to be delicate here because there is a great opportunity for Major League Baseball in terms of being a leader in this country and uh, elevating its relevancy back a little bit. It, it, baseball will probably never get back to where it's dominant over football. But there is an opportunity mm. here to tap into some Americana and some collective spirit here in America, make everybody feel good. Baseball is being a leader in showing us how to respond to this pandemic in a fearless, appropriate, fearless way. And and I go back to 1994 as well, because that was the first year that I worked as a full-time columnist in a major baseball city in Kansas City. And I remember that did not go well for the players and the reputation of the players and, and kind of hurt Major League Baseball because the players were framed as incredibly greedy. And, and to me, I would say to Blake Snell, Bryce Harper, 
Lolan Arenado, follow the lead of Major League Baseball owners. Have you heard an owner be outspoken on the other side of this? Or have they, uh, have they sat back and let Rob Manfred take all the heat and maybe the players should perhaps hide behind their union leaders? Let, your position's known. We know how Major League Baseball players get down. They're, they're a beast about their money and supporting their union. I would play the back here a little bit, Frank, and let others be a little bit more outspoken if I were an MLB player. You're right, Jason. And to get back what Mr. Wiley said, you're right. I, I, I would prefer they stay status quo, you know, because they signed the contract before the season. The money was in the bank. You're going to end up having to pay for the 82-game schedule. I really believe the salary structure should stay where it's at. And let's finish the season. I mean, finish the season and uh, get the fans what they're looking for right now. And that's that hunger for a live major major sport on national TV. Um, someone is going to win. Someone's going to lose. But the bottom line is, with this pandemic, we need a major sport back on national TV. So as for the players, I, I feel you, especially when you talk about health, because this is about health first. But as for playing and then the money situation, let's keep that behind closed doors. Let's 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 find a way, a solution quickly, and let's get back if we got a chance of being back on the field July first. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the health concern because I think a lot of that's getting lost because we're talking about money, and that's the balancing act our country is dealing with state by state, city by city right now is how to manage those two entities. But look at this. I'm asthmatic. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. I couldn't play sports when I was growing up until I got doctor's clearance because I am asthmatic. Imagine how many guys have underlying conditions that are in Major League Baseball, and they're being asked now to take on a greater risk. That's a conversation separate to this, but also in connection to this. Let's talk about the fact that I understand that the narrative and convo matters, but the dough matters as well. This is called professional sports for a reason. You are paying for services. So uh, these players, I, I really think that the only reason they put their names to it and their cachet to it is because it may not have been heard unless they did that. And kudos to Snell and Bryce Harper and others who will come and the dominoes will continue to fall in making this a real conversation instead of everyone at home is going to look at the players and say, why are you complaining? That's greed. But the billionaires are going to be absolved of that same conversation because they're going to hide and stay anonymous. Unfair. So this situation, the rubber has to meet the road if they're going to continue and play. We got to have this real conversation, unfortunately, for the public display. Right, one thing I want both of you all to respond to quickly, and then we got to go. I, I just would advise uh, Blake Snell, Bryce Harper, everyone, make sure you're actually looking at the data and the real issue as it relates to corona and not just the mainstream media and what's being forced down your throat. Be afraid. Corona's killing everybody. I, I think what, what they're, where they're going to run into an issue is there going to start to be hardcore sports fans and some guys like, hey, man, this health risk you guys are talking about is way over-exaggerated. The recovery rate for corona is really, really high. As we test more people, find out how many more people have actually had it and have recovered or asymptomatic, I, I think fully leaning into, oh, my God, we're risking our lives, I think is going to fall on deaf ears and may actually backlash against them because I'm not sure the health risk is as pronounced as it's being portrayed in the media. If you guys can respond to that quickly. Marcel, you go first, then Frank, I'll let you have a final word, mm -hmm. and then we got to go. Yeah, I mean, people just got introduced to my, my, my new co-host, Dr. Jason Fauci, again. He does this every now and then. And, hey, look, I respect it. I respect where Jason's coming from. However, I will disagree in terms of uh, it's something that Mark Schlereff always says. It's like there's no such thing as minor surgery unless it's on someone else. In this situation, it may be exaggerated. It may not affect you, but it will affect someone. And, and if it is on you, if it's someone in your family, you look at this completely different. I understand where you're coming from, Jason. Trust me. But if there's only a, a mortality rate of 5 to 1%, but you fall into that one to five percent. 
<laughs> we have a different conversation than the 95 to 99 percenters are having. So that's the only thing I would say to that. Well, you're right. And both of those guys got something to lose, the owners and the players. If someone comes down, maybe our whole team can get infected. So the owners got to worry about that on the, on the onset. And also the players got to worry about getting sick. So, But I, I just would we'll pull back off the table and stop talking about this money situation because I think there's a, enough to gain for both sides. Uh, let's keep the money out of the news. Let's hope we can keep everybody healthy and start on July 1st uh, with this first major sport. I know you said NASCAR, Whitlock, but uh, I'm looking at NASCAR in the top six because I, I think golf is five, NASCAR is six, and, <laughs> and I look at hockey as four. So <laughs> hey, uh, Frank, let's let me get tell you some major league sports going again. A guy named Eric Shanks, <laughs> and he paid a lot of money for yeah. NASCAR to be on this network. Yes. We can't wait to have Kurt Busch on. Let's go racing. <laughs> we got to let you go, Frank. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak For Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.